hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again so today's painting is quite simple i'm going to create some floral borders which you can use in different uh, ways and i'm using 320 gsm watercolor sheet i usually do these kind of paintings whenever i feel low and uh, mentally exhausted while doing these things i feel quite better so i think i should share something simple today so that it would be easy for you guys as well and you can paint these things without thinking too much now it does not have any specific rules and regulation but if you are a beginner and you feel like how we can create leaves and flowers then you can do a little bit of practice around these so if you do not apply any pressure into your brush you will add a small fine line if you will apply more pressure then more thicker line if you will apply more pressure then more thicker line so you need to understand how much pressure you need then the movement of the brush so let's have example i'm moving my brush towards the upward direction and towards downward direction while applying pressure so that i'll get something like this now if i'm going to use only tip of my brush and move my brush towards left and right i'll get something smaller and round leaves like this you can utilize these things uh, for the flower petals as well but the process is same now you can also create two strokes moving upward and downward direction while applying pressure having negative space in between to create some bigger leaves like this now if you will drag your brush little longer so you will get a little longer leaves like this so you can utilize all these strokes uh, in today's painting and practice this and it's quite simple for you even if you are a beginner now once you're done with the practicing uh, you can start with the floral border so i'm going to start with the first one using purple color and creating four petals for one single flower all the petals are in the one direction so that we can create the ovary of the flower in another direction you can keep the petals in different different direction to get different perspective of the flower you can also keep little smaller and bigger petals so these things you can do but it's quite simple and whatever flower you are comfortable with you can paint those flowers because anyways we are going to compose flowers and leaves together in a loop to create these floral border so it's not necessary to copy everything what i am doing you can do whatever you like to do now i'm done with the flowers i am also thinking to create one more flower here having uh, yellow color in it so i'm creating two small small petals using tip of my brush applying little pressure and moving my brush towards left and right that's the only thing i'm doing you can create ovary of the flower using black or brown color you can add a black dot around the ovary so these are the fine detailing sometime we need to do it repeat this throughout the flower now whenever i create floral border i like to create loop kind of thing so i'll attach everything with the help of stem i'm using different shades of green to create stems and leaves uh, for today's painting if you do not have different shades of green you can combine the yellow and blue color together to create different shades if you will going to add more blue and less yellow then you will get different kind of shade if you are going to add more yellow and less blue then you will get different kind of green shade this is something you can do and then a small small leaves around the stems i am covering all the stems with the leaves you can use whatever shade of green or any shade whatever you like and then i'm also thinking to add more leaves into it but this time little bigger as compared to the green one i have mixed blue and green together the blue is dominant in this particular color shade 
and I am adding two leaves around every purple flower. So no defined rules and regulations but I want to keep my border in symmetry. So I usually add these elements at the end to create symmetricity in my border. Now we are done with the first one. Now let's do the second one. Again I am going to repeat the same thing adding flower, leaves, stems together in a loop. The only difference is every time I am creating different flowers and different leaves and trying to use different shades of color. This time my flowers are in red color. I am just adding red dots like this throughout the border. This one is quite simple. So once we are done with the red flowers here having dot kind of shape then with the help of green color add stems and combine all these uh, into a loop to create floral borders i like to do all my borders like this only so i'm going to repeat this throughout my borders now we are done with the flowers let's create leaves so this time i'm holding my brush into horizontal form I'm not holding my brush straight like this I'm holding and dragging my brush towards left and right to create little rounder kind of leaves here uh, these are small and round kind of shape and I'm repeating this shape with the same shade of green throughout my border you might get little different uh, shape of leaves but it's totally fine we are not here to repeat things we are here to learn something new so don't worry if you are getting different shapes for your leaves and flowers or different shades uh, totally up to you what you like to do now just to add symmetricity in my border i'm adding this blue leaves in between wherever i feel like wherever i feel gaps into my uh, borders and to add little symmetry city throughout my border so we are done with the second one as well this was quite simple right now let's move to the third one so for the third one i am creating a normal five petal flower using blue color into it you can keep the petal little bigger and smaller so that you will get different perspective of uh, uh, the flowers and we are going to repeat these flowers throughout the border and then we are going to add stems and leaves having different shades of green all together and you can also add ovary of the flower in between so whenever i feel less motivated mentally exhausted i do something simple like this no defined rules and regulations we don't need to take care of how much wetness we need into our sheet or how much wetness we need into our brush so those things we don't have to worry about for me art is a therapy and i read it somewhere art therapy is defined by the british association of art therapist as a form of psychotherapy that uses art media as its primary mode of expressions and communication and you do not require to have experience or skills in the art the primary goal is to just do whatever you like you can use any medium like watercolor acrylic color or textured art or whatever there are so many art form in this art so do whatever you feel comfortable with i think it's great right now let's do some more leaves for this particular border this time i'm again creating small small leaves only but in a group of 3 and uh, also creating uh, uh, different uh, shades of leaf here so this time i'm using blue green having more blue and less green and adding in between uh, these border basically i'm repeating the same thing what i did in the first one 
the only difference is i am using different compositions of leaf different shades of leaves and different size of leaves different form of flower but basically repeating the same thing literally so try to use your own way to do these things i'm sure you can do quite better than me trust me it's that simple you just need a little bit of practicing around basic strokes and then you can paint n number of borders like this now let me create the last one with the yellow and orange color these are rose flower on a loose side and i'm creating this round kind of pattern with the help of yellow then adding water into it and adding little bit of orange in between to highlight the rose petals create all these flowers throughout the border repeating the same thing using yellow color with the help of water spreading the yellow and then adding orange shades in between just to highlight few of the petals you can use any other flower if you like to and then create a loop with the help of green shade and attach all the flowers together like we did for other rest of the borders i have created multiple floral border videos in the past uh, if you like to refer to those videos please go through those i will also add link to my description section i have also a playlist named as floral border so you can use that playlist as well if you like to do some floral border like these and this time i'm creating little longer leaves so i'm dragging my brush little longer to create these longer leaves i'm using sap green and uh, i'm going to create a group of 3 to 4 leaves together having a small medium and large leaf so creating a smaller and medium leaf with the help of blue green and i have created little longer leaf with the help of sap green repeat this throughout now we need little bit of symmetricity we have so many gaps in between so we need to fill this so i'm filling those not thinking too much just adding a small small leaves around it you can also add little bit of small flowers as well so basically I, i'm adding leaves only but having pink in shade so this is looking like a flower small flowers in between so think we are done and uh, you can utilize all these borders to create multiple stationeries you can create beautiful greeting card out of these borders you can use these border uh, like a frame to add some motivational quotes into it in between So for example I have created all these border into this particular sheet creating a frame you can use same border for the frame I have created this just for an example purpose and then you can write something in between So hope you have liked this video do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for watching my videos see you guys in the next video